Hey guys, how you doing? Jason L. Scott the first, and I want to make sure that I cover with you guys today what we call PS3 or contacting and inviting. The reason why we call it PS3 is we like for people to understand that all you must do when you first inviting people to look at the business, guys, is pique their interest, show them the plan, and then do a three-way call. The less you say, guys, in this process, the more successful you're going to be. I find that people are always tell me, well, Mr. Scott, you understand, I know my friends. These are the people I've been doing business with all my life. I know them. I can do it this way. I know how I can do it that way. But I have never seen those people have long-term success. I recommend this. When you get yourself involved, do exactly what someone else coaches and mentors you on. Don't do it the way you think that it should be done. Don't do it based off of your friends because we don't do what works. We do what duplicates because what may work for you may not work for your friends. Your friends may feel that, that you, they, they go to you, but their friends may not go to them. But if you use the system and they, they use the system, they can have success. Now, when it comes to PS3 or peaking the interest, showing a plan, doing a three-way call, just you know, it's simple. Don't try to explain the business the business of TLC to anybody, let the system always do it for you. Now, you're gonna find that part of this process, guys, is how you posture yourself. Your posture is going to help you in your process of delivering the information correctly with the right tonality, the right energy, so that people can tell that sometimes, something about this time is different. So whenever I give people a call, I want you to say this, because you know what we're gonna do, we're gonna schedule a series of calls for you. Whether you wanna use a 24-hour call, whether you want to use a VGO virtual grand opening, whether you want to you want to use a you know the the launch call, whether you want to use an opportunity like a wild party or a hotel opportunity meeting, whatever you want to use, you let the system help you in your process of of sharing the information and recruiting the people because all you want to do is find out if they're open. For instance, you want to say, "Hey Mike, listen. Hey prospect. Hey Mike, listen." I don't have a lot of time right now. I'm tied up. I need a few minutes to run something past you. Then you wait for the reply. Then once they say, yes, okay, what's going on? Listen, get in front of your computer. What's going on? Just get there, right there, right now. Are you there yet? Yeah, I'm here. Let me give you a caveat. A lot of times, if they're already at home, they're either online already, they're watching something through social media on their phone already, all right? All these other things they're doing already. So don't be afraid to just say, hey, do me a favor. Get in front of your computer right now. All right, are you there yet? Yeah, I'm there yet. Listen, go to go to www.teamngd.com. What's this all about? Just get there first. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Watch that short video. I'm gonna call you in 30 minutes. All right, listen guys, when you do it in that process, you're gonna find that your posture is gonna have them open to seeing what you're talking about, open to hearing the information. Letting, letting the tools go through the process for you guys are gonna have amazing, amazing results. If they tell you, well, no, I don't have, I'm not in front of the computer. Well, great, grab a pen. They say, okay, I got the pen, what's going on? Just, you got the pen? Yeah, uh-huh. Write this number down. 857-957-1985. What's this right here? Listen, listen to that call right now. The call's about to start right now. I don't wanna, I don't want you to miss out on it. I'll call you back in 30 minutes. Guys, use the system. Let the system, let, let something about this time, what you're talking about, you, it just sound like something is different. Now, also, if you already have a virtual grand opening schedule or a launch call schedule or some type of live call that you want to get them on, you want to do it in this capacity as well. Listen, Mike. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Listen, I don't have a lot of time right now. I'm tied up. Now, the thing is this, you always want to say that. So when they start asking you a lot of questions, you can always go back and say, listen, I told you I don't have a lot of time. So, so therefore, that's going to alleviate them asking you a million, a, a million questions. Hey, Mike, I don't have a lot of time right now. I'm tied up. I, I need a few minutes to run something past you. Will you be free at about 7 o'clock this evening or whatever time that your, your senior business partner has scheduled your virtual grand opening? All right, or you know that there's a call that's happening. Yeah, I'll be free at that, that time. Why? Because I find this, guys. If you say, hey, Mike, what's up? Uh, you free at 7? A lot of times, you know how we'll say, no, why? Uh-huh, no, I'm not, I'm not free. Why? What's up? And we always, wanna, we always try to say we're not free. And then when someone, when someone asks you something, they'll go, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm not free. So you always want to say first, listen, I don't have a lot of time right now. I'm tied up. I won't be free till about 7 o'clock. 
Will you be free at seven or eight or nine or whatever time you have your, your virtual grand opening schedule, guys? When they say, they say, yes, I'll be free. I'll be free at the time. Wow, well, what's going on? Listen, then you can say, I launched the biggest project of my life with a couple of millionaires. Now, but before I give you the details, based off the way your life is right now, and it's the right project for you, are you open? If they tell you something like open to what, or it depends, or anything like that, or, or, or they say yes, listen, who do you know like to lose five pounds in five days and earn and get paid an extra thousand or three thousand? Now, based on for the person, you could say, uh, extra, you know, what, what are you doing that's, that you can get that's going to help you earn six figures in 2017? Something like that, based on for the person's already level of success. But you can easily say, who do you know like to lose five pounds in five days and get paid an extra thousand to three thousand dollars a week while doing it? I would. Why? What's well, so a great? Grab a pen. That means you want to always gap them. Grab a pen. Tonight at 7, tonight at 8, or tonight at 9, I'm having a private conference and a webinar. See, because I like to do conference calls so they can hear it and a visual. You may use a Zoom call where you can show them the presentation. You may do Facebook Live. You may have another way of how you want to do it, just the conference call itself. But I like to make sure they can hear and they can see simultaneously. So I always make sure that when I do a, v a virtual grand opening, I give them an opportunity to get on a conference call and a webinar, all right? And, 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 and that's something that you might, you might want to consider as well. But if you don't, you can always just get them on a call. So you want to say, listen, well, I, I launched the biggest project with some millionaires. You know and I'm saying? Who do you know like lose five pounds in five days, earn an extra thousand or three thousand dollars a week while doing it? Great. Grab a pen. Tonight at seven, I'm having a private conference call and a webinar with a hand-selected group. Now, before I give you or before I give it to you, I need a guarantee yes right now that you're going to be on the call and on time. If they start telling you, I don't know, I got to see, it depends, you have to, you guys, you got to be firm and say, listen, okay, great. I'll get back with you later on. I, I have a limited amount of sitting, a limited slots. I, I, I got to have a guarantee you're going to be on the call. I got to call a few other people. I got to go. And you, and you got to let them know you got to go because if you start giving – Tentative has no power. When you're tentative, you're vibrating in this world as weakness. And this is a universe that doesn't favor the timid. And people don't join these companies, they join you. And if you're not strong, they're, they're not going to want to, they're not going to believe you. So, so you have to have a strength about your process. So when you say that, before, before I give it to you, I got to have a guarantee because we do confirmations. You're not in control of anything else except how many confirms you have. So when you say, before I give it to you, I have to have a, a guarantee, yes, right now that you're going to be on and on time. Here's a number. Here's a webinar. I, and shoot me a text when you're on so you don't get bumped off. Then at that point, guys, you can, give them a, you can either give them a live number then, and then, then right before the call, you can actually just, you, you can just, the way you confirm is you can shoot them a text of the actual, the pin number then. All right, like right before, say, hey, Mike, hey, Mike, I'm going to make sure you're on a call and let them know I'm going to shoot you the pin right before. So right before the call, you can call back and confirm that they're going to be on. But if they answer the phone call or answer the text, hey, Mike, you're going to be on the call. I got, I got the pin for you. They say yes, then you shoot them the text and you know that you got a, a confirmed guarantee on the call. If they don't respond back, don't shoot them information because you want to make sure that you know how many people are on. You want to know who's serious and who's not playing. Don't take, don't, don't take it for granted that you want to just put a few people on and hope to see who 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 pans out and hope that they log on. No, you want to know. You want them to know that you're serious and know that you're working with a high caliber of leadership. And this is a privilege and an honor. Only reason why is so that we can actually bring power to your organization and bring power to your people. Cause we're going to edify you back and I'm going to explain that in a second. See, now this is a key thing. Once you have actually given them the information, I want to say yes, just shoot me the text. So, so that I want to make sure you don't get bumped off. This is great. I'll see you then. I got to go. And you hang up the phone. If they say no, I don't, I don't have no time. I'm interested. Great. I'll talk to you soon. I have to go. And then you hang up the phone. That'll start to have something in their mind where they'll wonder why you haven't tried to beg them. You haven't tried to plead with them. They're going to, some are going to text you back and say, what was that all about? What was going on with that? If you don't call them back, they'll may call you. You can run with them later on. In the meantime, that's what you want to do. Now, this is the key thing. Immediately, after the conference call or webinar or the, the, the quick sizzle call information that you may give them or call or whatever, you want to call them back and then you want to say to them, what did you like best about what you heard? 
At that point, you want to be quiet and you want to listen and you want to learn. Because once they tell you what they like best, your only response should be, great, what package did you want to get started with? Because once they say, I like the money, I like the time, and I like the products, great, what product pack do you want to get started with? And have your application in hand. And at that point, they'll start telling you, I want to do the package for the weight loss or the $100 or this, and they'll let you know. But if they do anything else, they say, well, I got a couple of questions, or I'm not ready yet. Great, I know how you feel because I felt the same exact way. I'm new to this company, I'm still in training, but what I wanna do is introduce you to my senior business partner. Don't answer no questions. If you, if you start letting people tell you, well, this ain't for me, they don't know what's not for them. You're not asking them what's for them in that process. All you want is people on the call to support you, to hear what it is that you have going on. Because I promise you, when you have success, if you don't do it the way we coach you, when you have success, I promise you, you're going to get the call back later. I can't believe you didn't tell me about this. I thought we were blood. We're supposed to be friends. We're supposed to be family members. How could you find something like this? You didn't tell me. So guys, rather than do all that, just follow the system. Let the system go through the process for you. And never ask them, can you do a three-way call? Don't ask them, is it okay? Because you're training. And you want to make sure, guys, because I, I don't care how many people have told me, my friends, I know them, they operate with me differently. Don't even say that to me. Don't even say that to your leadership. Don't even say that to yourself. If you hear yourself saying it, don't say it because it's the wrong. If you have never earned six figures or seven figures in a network marketing company, don't say it. I don't care what you think. Do not say it because it's not true. All right. All right. See, because because, you know, this whole process, guys, is you understanding that we're going to teach you a new reality, not the one you thought. The way we've been thinking got us the results in our lives that we have gotten. My job is to give you a, a different result. So therefore, I want you to follow these basic steps. All right. Immediately after the call, you want to be quiet. You want to listen. You want to ask them that simple question. After that, they ask them what pack you want to get started with. They got any questions? Soon as they got any some questions, you say to them, say, great, listen, now you feel or felt the same way, I want to introduce you to. And then at that point, guys, you let them know you want to introduce them to Mr. Scott. This per Always use your expert's last name and your prospect's first name because you want them to feel. You want your prospect. Don't talk to your expert like your, like your prospect is the best thing going. You want your, your prospect to understand that your expert in this company, Total Life Changes, is the best thing going. You want them to see that you have a high level of respect for this person, even though you may have a high level of respect for them as well. But in order for our ability to move your people is a direct correlation to how well you edify us, because all we're going to do is re-edify you. All right. And the way we're going to do that, guys, as you see right here on the screen, it says, it says, listen, I want to introduce you to my senior business partner, Mr. or Mrs. Whatever. Let's say it's Mr. Scott, Mr. Scott. He knows 100% of the information. He loves helping people. He makes a serious income. He loves to have fun and he's highly sought after. Hold one second, let me get him on the line. If they say, well, no, 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 I'm good. Say, no, no, I'm in training. Hold one second, I got to learn how to make this thing happen. Just hold one second and you get them on the phone line. Guys, the reason why you do these, because there's four different personality styles of people. You're going to find that some people, all they want is information. Some people just love helping people. Some people are only money motivated. Uh, some people just love to have fun. You say these things and you touch into the mindset and the psyche of the person who heard only that one thing that you said to them. Hold one second. Let me get them on the phone line. Now, then you want to conduct a three-way call with your team expert that was, remember I gave you the three, the three numbers that were listed above in your, in your, your dare to dream? You put it on your welcome call. One of your, one of your experts, you want to make sure, because you have already called, you let your expert know that you're going to be putting people through the system. You find out if they're going to be available for some three-way calls. When they say yes, now, when you, now you've called all of us or text us all, we told you that we're available, one of us will answer the phone call when you're doing your three-way call. At that point, guys, when you conduct your three-way call, make sure, make sure that only you, make sure that only you and the expert are on the line. Never do a three-way call and already have your brand new person bridged in. Never, ever, ever do it in that capacity. Do the three-way call knowing that you already have the other person on standby. You call your expert. You let them know what the person like best, Mr. Scott. I have I have Walter on the other line. Walter loves he loves the the fact that you can make money. He he loves the fact that you can lose some weight. He loves the fact that it gives him time for freedom. Whatever he heard 
Whenever he heard the presentation, he'll tell you what he likes best. So at that point, you make sure we're only you and the expert are online when speaking. Then you connect. Once I ask you a series of questions, I may ask you what the person's name is, what they you know, what they do for for a living. Do they have any family members? You know, which state or country they located in? All these things I may ask you, and of course I'll ask you what they like best about what they heard. Once you tell me these things, then at that point you're going to connect us to the call. You let your expert know this is the gentleman. So you edify us before we get on the call. Now when you connect us, hey, Mr. Scott, this is the gentleman I told you about, Walter. Walter, this is Mr. Scott. All right. And then, of course, guys, you're going to learn some additional things to edify later on. But in the meantime, those are the four things you're going to say. All right. Then once you do that, guys, you're going to be quiet. You're going to listen and you're going to learn. There's a language of network marketing. There's a language of business. And you want to learn that language. And the way you learn that language is by listening to other people and how they overcome objections, how they move people through the process, how they move people through the system. Let your expert go do the talking and you listen and you learn. So now next time you will know how to successfully move a person through this system the way that your expert have moved people through for you. All right, because your, your team expert will invite your prospect to the next step. We'll schedule a follow-up if they say they want some more information or something else after that. We'll, we'll invite them to a wild party for you. We'll invite them to look at and listen to another conference call. We'll invite them to the hotel event, 24-hour replay. If they say they got to listen to see something or they want to see something else, we'll send them to the website. All right, or we'll invite them out to one-on-one -on -one if we're local in the marketplace. All right, or we're going to instruct you. Once this person said that they're ready, we'll instruct you to get the application so you can get the information and put them into the system. Once we give you the information, get the application, if we hang up the phone after that, all you do is get the information. Don't start explaining nothing else. Don't talk about nothing else. Don't, ask, don't start asking no other questions. All you want to do is get all the information and tell them you're about to put them into the system right now. All right? And then you'll call them right back when they're in. But don't start no other conversations because you're going to find you're going to start to answer questions. And sometimes you may not know the answer or, or don't answer them correctly. And your person will end up saying, you know what? I'm going to wait. You confuse them, they're going to wait. So you make sure you let your expert move them through the process for you. Make sure at the end, you be sure to thank your expert for their time. And then, because when we're on the call, we're going to let the person know. And by the way, this gentleman is an incredible entrepreneur. This young lady is a superstar. You made the best decision getting yourself started with this person. You couldn't have picked a better sponsor. We're going to edify you. But to bring value to that edification, you have to edify us. Edification is a tool that you use in your business, right? And the tool that you use when we edify you guys is to help bring value to us so we can bring that value back to you. Mr. Smith always says it's like a hot potato. So when you bring it, get it to us, we're going to give it right back to you, you as quickly as possible. All right? Then after that, guys, once we move your expert and we do what we, do, what we got to do, you talk to them. If we schedule an appointment, you say, listen, I got to go. I'll see you at that appointment. Or I'll see you then. Nothing else, you hang up. Never continue the conversation after the expert has scheduled the appointment. Always ban fam, book a meeting from a meeting. Guys, and once you ban fam, because it takes five to seven exposure before the average person will join. So I'm gonna teach you on another video. Watch the ban fam, the ban fam video in order for you to learn how to move your people through the ban fam tracking form. Guys, that's been your PS3. That talks about your posture and all you need to learn in order for you to successfully invite. You'll learn a few other things around it, some other, some other conversation, but those are the basic keys that I want you to remember when it comes to contacting and inviting people and having the right posture. The right posture. Guys, this is Jason L. Scott the first. Love each and every one of you guys. See you guys not just at the top, but I see each and every one of you guys over the top. You guys have a great one. Good night.